Okay, so here's one more quick idea I had. Um, I'm on my third adapter, <laughs> uh, round to four-way flat, because I keep misplacing them or not putting them back in the door. And I think the last time I laid it right here when I unhooked the trailer, because um, I dropped the trailer off to pick up a log, and then when I came back after work, I was going to work, so I forgot. And it was probably still sitting right here. So, anyway... I don't have it anymore, so I needed to buy another one, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to wire up all my trailers with rounds, because every car I have has the seven-way round. So, um, it's pretty easy, just follow your guide on the back, you know, um, if you have a four-way flat, your green is right, yellow is left, I think that's the standard, white is ground, which is the same on here, and then your brown is always power, so um, just follow your uh, guide on here. You can hit pause on that right there. Hopefully it's in in focus. Um, so basically, same thing. White's white. That's great. Um, I don't have brakes. Green is your tail and license. So your brown wire from your four-way trailer lights are going to connect to the green wire on here. And then black is battery charge. Um, I may hook that up later. I don't know. I don't really have a battery, but I was thinking about doing it for the winch. Um, but I usually just carry the battery, so I'm not sure about that. And then your red is your left stoplight, so that's going to be the yellow. So just follow your guides. And then on here, your brown is your right stoplight, so make sure you put your green in the brown. And <laughs> So just a little bit different wiring. Um, and then your yellow is center auxiliary. I don't have any auxiliary. Um, it's just like a network cable. There's a standard for a reason, but if you happen to mess up and put your brown and your green in the wrong... Uh, jack hole uh, as long as you do the other end the same way you're fine so uh, same with this that's all the adapter does is it crosses the wires where they're supposed to be so that when you turn the turn signal on the brake lights don't come on but the left signal does so anyway that's what I'm gonna do um, I have four trailers and I've got four of these so I'm gonna hook these up so that I don't have to worry about losing my connector anymore I think I got them all on there um, this one is actually is pretty it's it's marked on here too, so it's a really easy one. This is the Reese brand, um, so you don't really have to sit here and orient it and all that. So they're all marked on here, and you don't have to really pay attention that much. You just get your wire and think to yourself, okay, I'm doing the tail lights now. Left tail is red, so just find your red on here and connect it to there. And then that just pinches the wires so they stay in there good. All right, let's go test it out. I'll have to turn the trailer around and stuff. Do it once or twice. All right, left. Do right. As you can see, I have a little problem with that right turn signal and those center marker lights. They should not be blinking. I already fixed it once, but I probably just need to replace that right side tail light and be done with it. The problem is that where they had spliced into the brown wire. Um, there's only about one inch sticking out and it was really loose. Um, I tried soldering it last time and it was working for a while, but we took a trip to Dallas and back. <laughs> All that bouncing around on the road and stuff probably messed it up again. So I guess I'll just have to replace it. Anyway, as always, we thank you for watching. Get out there, do something, and we'll catch you in the next video.